Hello my friend, Bob Brown here. Hey listen, Facebook has changed the way they do things again. If you've been trying to download a Facebook Live video to your computer, you've been struggling. So in 2018, there's been a few changes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can download a Facebook Live video to your computer so that you can share it with a friend or upload it to YouTube. So you wanna stay tuned. So as you know, Facebook is always evolving. And what worked in 2017 just might not be working in 2018 as you have found to be the case with being able to download Facebook Live videos to your laptop so that you can share them with other people. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. There's, there's eight steps involved in this. Uh, they're simple steps, uh, but uh, they've kind of buried this pretty deep in there. So in order to find it, you got to know where to look and so I'm going to show you that in this video so let's jump on my computer and we'll take a look now okay so step one is to open up your fan page so whatever fan page you have that you're actually shooting your live videos on that's where you want to go to and so I've opened up my um, uh, Facebook uh, fan page here one of them that I have and in this uh, fan page here, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process to be able to download that video. So the first thing is open up, step one is to open up your Facebook page. Step two is to now go to your video. So there's two ways that you can actually find your videos on here. Um, on the left hand side in your tabs, um, you can scroll down where it says videos and you can click on the video button there. Now that's going to bring up all the videos that you've shot and loaded onto Facebook here. Now some of those videos may not necessarily be live videos and so um, when you're in here you've got to know which ones are live they're not actually there's no way to actually determine um, whether they're live or not so the better way to actually get to um, finding your live videos now if you're shooting all nothing but live videos it's okay to go there but um, what you want to do is, is go up to the top here where it says uh, publishing tools so if you click on publishing tools that is going to bring up the page that has really all your posts on it and to the left hand side here you're going to see where your videos are and you're going to click on the video library okay and that's going to bring up where all your videos are stored now on this particular page you can actually see if there is a uh, live video on there and you can do that by just looking here um, that'll have the little camera on there originally a live video so it's going to tell you which ones are live and which ones were other videos that you just happened to upload to that so we're going to pick this one here and I'm going to walk you through the steps so the, so the first step step one is open Facebook step two is to open up your videos um, step three is to click on the video that you want to uh, download to your computer. Okay, it's going to bring up a, another dialog box there. There'll be the video inside that. Now what you want to do is actually scroll down to the bottom. Um, I'm going to click on that one and that's going to bring up, it almost, it almost looks identical, the same um, box comes up with the same video in there, but there is a small change in that that makes a big difference and that's right here where it says view permalinks. Okay. You're going to want to click on where it says view permalink. So that's step five. You're viewing the permalink here. Again, what that's going to do is going to open that same video up one more time. And once that video comes up, um, what, it, what is actually done with that video when you push the permalink, it actually takes you into Facebook and it opens up that particular post that that video was played on. That gives you a little bit more information in there. So the next thing you're going to do, so step uh, six is you're going to actually click on let me do this and close stop that video right here where you see the date stamp okay you want to click on the date stamp next step there so once you click on the date hey there's the video one more time um, go figure why they buried this thing so deep in here not too sure um, so step number seven here is now once you have this uh, particular page come up on here then you're going to want to go over to the right hand side the top right across from where the name of the fan page is going to be there's three little dots you're going to click on those three little dots and once you do that another drop down box is going to come up and in there it says download the video if you click on that download the video hey guess what the video starts to download it's that simple facebook buried it in there i don't know why they've done this but now they're um uh, you're still able to actually download your video, um, your Facebook Live videos onto your laptop, your computer, um, wherever else you'd like to save it to, put it in a folder, and then be able to share it with friends or upload it 
to YouTube. And that's typically what I think most people that are doing the um, Facebook Lives are, are wanting to be able to download those. One is that they want to be able to save them. Um, so if not, I don't think when you're shooting on your phone, you can actually save that video to be able to do that. So this way you can do it, save it to your computer, and then you can share it um, with friends or upload it to YouTube or some other social media platform. It's that simple. Okay, so I hope that helped you out. Um, listen, keep pumping out those Facebook Live videos. Um, uh, 2018 is really gonna be kind of a year where most of the platforms are focusing on video, um, especially um, if you're using Facebook. Facebook is moving towards that. They're kind of com competing a little bit with, with YouTube coming out with their own actual um, TV channel, uh, Facebook TV. And um, uh, also I, I'm noticing more and more on Instagram. Instagram is now showing your videos much, much more. There's much more engagement that is coming from videos as well. So that's another platform. So if you're doing videos, especially live videos, you know, keep pumping them out because 2018, you're gonna get much more engagement for those. Um, so if you got some value from this, give me a thumbs up on this. Uh, YouTube, if, uh, if you're, you're watching this on Facebook, like it. Do me a favor, comment on both places. And, and, and definitely share this with um, a friend because I know that there are other people out there that are frustrated and struggling with this. Um, uh, I've got two, two friends of mine that um, uh, do a lot of Facebook Live videos and they've been pulling their hair out. So um, uh, I know that there are other people out there. Do me a favor, if you go to my YouTube channel as well, make sure you subscribe and um, uh, that way you're gonna get more videos like this. Um, I'm always um, trying to find the solutions to a lot of the problems as uh, social media is changing and you know that social media changes on a, on a continuous basis so I'm trying to stay up with with what things are changing and um, so that way we can be able to to evolve with those and then implement you know the things that we're doing and be able to stay on top of it so hope you have a great day um, I will talk to you in the next video bye now